Welcome to Secure Girl Podcast. I am your host, Kim Velez, a licensed mental health therapist and a conscious life and success coach. And I am absolutely obsessed with helping amazing women like you to never ever have to settle for less than she deserves and to never ever feel unloved or not good enough again. This is literally my mission on the planet Earth. So Secure Girl Podcast is about the real deal of how to become the best version of you. I cover all spiritual and practical techniques to help you overcome your mindset, beliefs, and habits that are stopping you from getting everything you want. On Secure Girl Podcast, we are talking about the real truth, ladies. This is not a place to run and hide. This is a place to really understand and have the hard conversations of what it takes to really manifest and love yourself and get the life that you want. So each week, I deliver love and truth bombs of everything you need to know, including mindset, self-love, and manifestations so that you can blossom into the confident, amazing, successful, loved, empowered, unstoppable, and absolute best secure girl version of you. And I am your host, Kim Velez. And just a disclaimer, I do tend to swear. So if that offends you, then I highly suggest that you click off now. If it doesn't offend you, then great, my loves. Just make sure if you have little ones around that you have some headphones on so that they don't hear it. All right, guess who's back? (laughs) I know it's been a while, a week, I think two weeks, but listen, I have a lot of changes happening behind the scenes. I just hired people and we're revamping and redoing a lot. And then I fell under the weather for a couple of days. So, but your girl is back and we're going to talk about something that is really, really important that most people tend to forget. And I've done videos on this in YouTube. I have done so many conversations about this, but I feel like this warrants an entire podcast episode. So we're going to talk today about the power of persistence. Yes, the power of the P, no pun intended. But in, in our world, the P stands for persistence. So let's talk about this. So I want you to start looking at this whole game as this r- transformation, this reprogramming that's happening. And the way that you win the game is to just persist and focus on what you want. And stop looking at the timing of things. I know some of you are going to roll your eyes when I'm saying this. I know some of you are going to be like, Kim, fuck that. I want what I want. I fucking want it now. Like I get it. I totally get it. But here's the thing. You're going to get what the fuck you want, but not if you don't persist. And this is the problem with so many people that I work with is a couple weeks in, maybe a month in, they start hitting a fucking wall and they start focusing more on lack. They stop, you know, with the mental diet. They're not as on point as they were. And they really start focusing more on what they perceive. Note the word there, perceive, that is not changing or manifesting in their favor. So the power of persistence is important. And, and Neville talks about this all the time, but It really is. And I use an example in my YouTube video this week on Monday where I shared about two years ago I started, I went from being a licensed mental health therapist to a certified coach. And I went through that training and I launched my website. Well, I just, you know, put one up. I didn't launch it, but I put it up so it's visible. And I started this transformation of my business and me. And For two years, I made money. Well, the first eight months, I didn't make any money as a coach at all. I was still making money as a therapist. I had two jobs. So this the the first eight months, I didn't make any money as a coach. But I still showed up every day in my business. I didn't know what the fuck to do. I didn't even really know what my message was. I kept changing it. I was going through this internal transformation process. And I had no idea 
when my business would take off, I had no idea who I would manifest into my reality in this experience. I knew a lot of nothings except this I was certain about. I was going to persist no matter what. My eyes stayed on the prize and I didn't give a fuck what my 3D showed me. And for eight months, I want you to hear that, for eight fucking months, I did not make any money as a coach. And some of you are crying over here for two weeks or a month or even three months. Now, granted, back then in that process, I honestly didn't really understand you know, how easy it is to manifest and that your thoughts create your reality too. If I would have, I probably would have manifested things into my existence much faster. But nevertheless, I still persisted. Every day I got up, every day I focused and told myself This is going to work. You're going to help millions of people. How would you show up if you're helping millions of people? So I was focusing on a concept of self as being a leader in this community or the community, manifesting community. And what is the messages that I need to talk about? Who am I helping? What would I do if I had a million people in front of me? And I put out content and I put out content and I kept making content and I kept moving along every single day with zero fucking evidence zero fucking evidence that anything was working in my favor. I had no idea how long it would take to manifest the level where I'm at now in my business. I had no idea how it was going to unfold. All I knew was my goal is to help millions and I want to focus on this and I want to be online because I want to help people all over the world. That's all I knew. So I kept my eye on that fucking prize. And let me tell you, for eight months, no money coming in as a coach. If I would have given up, we would not be here right now. If I would have given up, I would have not realized my dream. If I gave up and was not persistent, I would not be moving forward in the fucking amazing, dope-ass, magnificent reality that I have manifested for myself. So let me ask you this. Why the fuck are you so quick to give up? Why are you so quick to not be persistent? Why are you so quick to not keep your eye on the prize? Why are you so not quick, or I'm sorry, you're so quick to... Forget the reality that you want to manifest. Why are you so quick to not keep your eye on that prize? This is the work. It's an inner transformational experience. You are creating your reality. The way you create your reality is you focus in your mind what it is that you want, no matter what that 3D is showing you. And the really cool part of this is it comes in better than you could even imagine, and you don't know the timing of it. You just know it's going to happen. Now, you're the operant power, so the timing is really about understanding overcoming yourself. This isn't something outside of us that's saying, oh, she's got to wait six more months, or nope, we're going to make her go through this for two years before we give her what she wants. You don't got to get in a fucking frequency. You don't got to make sure you're in this vibrational pattern long enough. That's all bullshit. Because you know what? Do you know how fucking long that I was happy? Let me tell you something. My self-love journey started fucking years ago. My emotional suffering ending, the ending of that saga of my life ended years ago. I have maintained mental diets that always move me in the direction of what I want and like always focus on something that makes me feel better. And there were times I didn't manifest a fucking thing. And I'm going to tell you why because I did not understand that thoughts create your reality and that my dominant thoughts on that subject is what manifests. So this is why I'm here to tell you from my own experience, the coaches out there that keep selling us that we have to feel good to manifest are full of shit. Now, I want you to feel good. I don't want you to emotional suffer. It makes manifesting so much more fun. It makes your life fucking better. So I want to support you in changing your mindset. I want to support you in you know, focusing on things in your mind, thoughts in your mind, assumptions in your mind that are always soothing to you, calming to you, and just make you feel better. Absolutely. 
okay? You need to do that for you because why suffer in this life when we don't fucking have to, right? But happy doesn't, that being happy or being in this state of bliss and all these beautiful emotions that we can feel, while I like them, I prefer them always, and I will always move myself into those states rather than staying funky or moody or fucking miserable, right? Because I don't like that, and they're all based off the thoughts that you're thinking. That's not what makes you manifest. It's your thoughts that make you, like you manifest what your thoughts are, not what your feelings are. So this is what I want to help you with is you have to stay persistent. So in this two-year journey from when I started my website and became a certified coach and you know, to where I am at today. And listen, I'm not at my end game. My end game is helping millions of people all over the world. Right now, I've hit a 10% of that, right? I don't even know if that's the right calculation, but I'm at fucking tens of thousands of people. I want more than that. There's more people that I want to help get what the fuck they want and understand what it really means to manifest so they have consistent, better results. Okay, so I'm still not on my end game. And I'm going to keep going because why? Persistence. So look at this with anything else in your life that comes into your life, that trickles in or isn't a full manifestation, whether it's your SP or something else, you still need to keep your eye on the prize and you still need to stay persistent on what it is you want, no matter what, no matter what that 3D is showing you. If I did not stay persistent, we would not be here right now. And this is what I'm here to tell you, that the power of persistence only pays off in your favor. And you have to start training your mind and understanding that, okay, while I'm manifesting my SP, while I'm manifesting in loads of money, while I'm manifesting in this new body, this new career, whatever the fuck it is that you want, right? Whatever is something different that you want to experience in your life, yes, you're going to get that if you stay persistent with it. But it's understanding that it's, it's more about me learning how to win this fucking game of life because we're never going to be fully satisfied. We're always going to want something different, have a new experience, a better experience, and it goes on and on and on until we literally die, okay? So we have to understand that the way you want to start training your mind is, I'm not doing this to manifest this experience in, although that's the power that I have, so that is what will happen. But I'm doing this because I understand my thoughts create my reality. So as long as I stay persistent in a story that is more dominant about what I want to experience, how I want people to see me, how I want the world to view me, how I want money to show up in my life, who's showing up in my life, the versions of them that I want, all these fucking amazing things that we have the power the power to manifest in our existence is knowing that I don't care how long it takes. I'm going to stay persistent because this inevitably has to be my reality. So the only delay is us overcoming ourselves. And most people get tripped up over the persistence part. They want their shit in quick, and I get it. I would rather have a million dollars tomorrow than a million dollars in three months. But hear me out. If I fucking knew for certainty that I was getting a million dollars in three months, I'm not crying over here. I'm going to be living very differently. I'm already, I'm going to be excited. I'm going to be thinking better thoughts. The minute my mind wants to go to, oh my God, how are you going to pay this? What about this? What about that? I'm going to say, oh no, I got a million dollars coming in three months. So here's, I could pay all that shit off. I can go here. I can go there. I can, you know, donate here. I can give to this person. I can buy for that person. You would be in your mind counteracting any negative thought that came in and said you couldn't do something because you knew a million dollars is coming in in three months. So you're not going to be hate in life. You're not going to be miserable. It's this anticipatory excitement that this is coming into your existence and you know it and you know it's the fucking game changer and you know how different your life is going to be and you already start connecting to that reality in your mind before that money has even hit the 3D yet. So this is how you have to start training your mind with everything you're manifesting, especially with the SPs. And this is a good reminder for me too. I mean, this is why I do what I do. One, I love to help people, but it also keeps me on point, right? I have to walk the fucking walk. So like, 
you know if your thoughts create your reality and you believe in that and you know that your dominant thoughts on any given subject is what will inevitably manifest, then you better keep your fucking eye on the prize. You better stay persistent in the story that is what you want to manifest and experience. Because the more you push that out, the more focus and attention you give that reality in your mind is the one that will manifest. So if you knew your SP was coming for certainty, or for certain, I should say, why are you entertaining thoughts that say otherwise? I know why, because our fucking ego gets in the way, right? Our ego tries to tell us, no, this isn't true, and we get attached to those old negative thinking patterns. It's almost like an addiction. We're very comfortable in feeling these emotional and thought patterns that we have you know, felt for quite a while, so it's easy to keep defaulting because as humans, we're habitual creatures, right? Absolutely. But this is the goal. The power of persistence is knowing as long as I keep to the story dominantly, you're not going to do it perfectly, but as long as I keep to the story dominantly, that has to manifest. This is the power of persistence. What I persist in, persist in is what I bring into my existence. And so many people are short-sighted with this. So many people look at it as a quick, a quick, like uh, a quick way to be just to call in what they want. And if you're there, I want you to really hear this because I want you to go deeper with this. I want you to understand something. You are the operant power. You can manifest any fucking thing in your reality. This is how powerful you are. All you have to do is persist in a story of what you want to manifest. And you have to fucking persist in it if it's a story that has a lot of opposing thoughts against it, which is usually an SP, which is usually concept of self. It's usually these big manifestations. If you could see my finger quotes right now, you would, my finger air quotes. There are no big manifestations. It's just a bigger story we have to overcome, which is why it feels longer to manifest in. Like I had one of my email coaching clients ask me a a beautiful question. It was an amazing question. She said, why is it harder to change their personality once they're back in your life than it is to change or to get them to come back in? And I'm like, because this is, this is the story that you have reinforced about them for God knows how many months or how many years. And that is manifested fully until it's hardened into fact in your reality. And you've also manifested a story about yourself in regards to them. And a lot of us have manifested a shitty concept of self in regards to fucking relationships or money or whatever the subject is, right? That we have hardened into fact through persistence over years, if not decades, about this is who we are. So just because you change your mental diet in a couple days or a couple weeks or even a month, yes, you will see reflections in your 3D. You definitely should. I mean, you'll get it somehow, some way, but like you still don't give the fuck up just because it hasn't fully conformed, because it hasn't fully hardened into fact yet. You stay persistent until it hardens into fact. So you have to train your mind to understand that whatever I'm focusing on is going to fucking manifest, or at least the one that I'm you know, focusing on dominantly is going to keep manifesting or will start manifesting. So all that's all I have to do is stay persistent on focusing primarily on what I want to live. What's the experience I want to have? What is the version of the person I want? Who the fuck am I in this reality? Who do I want to be? What's the version of me? And that is what you persist in until that hardens into fact. Now, the amazing thing with all of this is that we don't have to spend years and decades to reinforce a new belief. I promise you, we don't. But you have to stay persistent in it and allow it to manifest in your 3D before it will harden into fact. See, when you have opposing thoughts, those thoughts are always going. It's like on on auto replay, these thoughts are. And 
we can't just press the button that says turn off auto replay, right? We have to create a new loop in our mind to replace that old loop. And that old loop can consist of thousands and thousands of thoughts. It's like an intricate spider web of thoughts. It isn't just three to five thoughts. Now, I give people the direction and the guidance that when you're starting this journey of a mental diet and disciplining your mind, you need easy things that you can grab in your mind and you know, uh, repeat excessively in your mind to, to rewrite this programming to start learning how to interrupt and control your mind. Because if you just go on a tangent in your brain and this long new story you want, you're still not disciplining. It's still kind of going on autopilot. You have to learn how to focus and develop this skill set of, nope, this is where we're going. Nope, this is where we're going. Nope, I'm redirecting this thought. Nope, redirecting this thought. Nope, interrupting and redirecting this thought. And you keep doing that over and over until it becomes this automatic loop in your mind. And you'll see it continuously manifesting in your 3D. And when it comes in, whoo. This is where people get tripped up. See, here's my thing. I know in my past, especially with exes, when I decided to let them go emotionally and let go of the old story, and I've shared this so many times, and started focusing on me. Now, I had already affirmed a million times about what I wanted with them. And I knew they would come back, wasn't even worried about that. And when I decided to say, fuck it, I don't even care, I'll meet somebody new, right? And I focused on my concept of self and felt good again about me, was like somebody will appreciate me, love me, value me, da-da-da. And then I affirmed, you know, my new story of what I want in a relationship. They would come back in at some point within a couple weeks or a couple months of that. And they were the versions that I wanted, so it had told me that while they were absent from my life, I obviously was able to change my thought pattern enough to manifest the version of them that I wanted. Now, with some of them, I rejected because I no longer was interested. Other ones that I accepted back in, I recreated the same fucking cycle because I wasn't understanding everyone as you pushed out, and I didn't understand that this was me creating this experience. So where I'm at now, fast forward all these years later, my SP is in my life, we'll say, not really the version that I desire so much. But that's not the one I'm focusing on. I'm not going to affirm that. I'm recreating him. And it's always working in my favor. Because that is the story that I'm persisting in no matter what. So there were lots of things that transpired upon his arrival that triggered a bunch of my shit that I needed to overcome, and I manifested with him. So I have an option. I either, you know, focus on the 3D version at times that isn't favorable, or I focus on the version that is favorable and keep reinforcing my self-concept. So do you see, I keep persisting no matter what the fuck the 3D is showing me. Because that's how you get what the fuck you want. And the persisting is, this is about you and you, not them. It has nothing to do with him. So for me, I always remind myself what I'm telling you is like, I have to focus on the version of me of who I want to be in this reality. She's chosen. She's first best she's committed to, that's the version of who the fuck I am. I am no longer, and I have evidence of that even in my old realities where they would come back giving commitment. I have been committed to many times. But see, I couldn't even recognize that a lot in the old realities, even though I would say it, because I still was in more of a self-concept that I don't get what I want with them, even though I did, ultimately. So that's got to change. That story's got to change. That no, they commit to me right off the bat. Like that's that's what I've worked on. So 
I always focus on knowing that whatever I'm thinking about when it comes to me and my self-concept in this area, it has to be favorable for me. The same way I did with being an online coach. Even when the 3D showed me the fucking complete opposite, (laughs) like no movement, no evidence for eight months. Now one fucking dime. And then what happened was eight month mark, I made a shit ton of money and then I would make sprinkles of money here and there. And I still had my private practice therapy going on. So that always was, you know, my main bread source. And when I understood how simple this game is of your thoughts create your reality and you just need to affirm the story of what you want to experience, I started doing that. And I changed my whole fucking business and money game literally over fucking night. So you can do the same with everything. The only reason why some things take a little bit longer to show up in the 3D is because of our opposing story. See, I don't have opposing thoughts when it comes to my business because I have a long history of succeeding in any business ventures and any academic ventures that I participate in. It's never been an issue for me because I don't give up on myself. I always know as long as I persist, I get what the fuck I want, right? Now, the self-concept in that area with business and money has always been really good for me. So I didn't have to battle tens of thousands of thoughts every day. I didn't have to wrangle and wrestle my mind several times a day that wants to pull me back to the old identity and rehash all these old experiences in my life that proved to me the opposite. Now, that's what I have to do when it comes to the SP. Because there's tens of thousands of thoughts from my childhood of being in foster care and being abandoned that says I was not good enough, I was not chosen. So I have to actively affirm every fucking day that no, I am fucking good enough and I am always fucking chosen and first best because that is the reality that I am experiencing. That is the one that I want to live in and anchor myself in forever. So the power of persistence will give me that. Not the opposite. The power of flakiness is going to get you hot and cold, shitty manifestations all the fucking time and nothing's really going to change. So I don't care what the fuck you see in your 3D. And I have seen some shit. Even before my business changed, there was like two months, especially with COVID happening and everything, where my income was like going down. But I had like money saved, so I wasn't really worried. I was like, I'll get through it, like not going to be an issue. I have more than enough. Like, see, I still had a natural assumption that it would be short-lived, it would be temporary, and that I would be okay. But ideally, the money wasn't coming in. And it fucking changed. This is what I'm saying. Like, you don't know what is right around the corner. You don't know the exact moment when everything is going to fucking fully shift for you. And it all comes the fuck in the way that you want it. You don't know when that's going to happen. This is why the power of persistence is so fucking important. But yet people, like, forget that they have to persist. They think like they're just going to manifest everything in perfectly all of a sudden, all the time, no matter what. And it's like, no, some people do, some people don't. I'm, I'm not working with, you know, everybody all over the world. This is why you should not compare yourself to others. You should only compare yourself to who you were three months ago, who you were six months ago, a month ago, a fucking year ago, and see how far you've fucking grown. Because it's about you, my love. You're the creator of your reality. You are the opera in power. It's your thoughts that are manifesting. No one else's in your reality. So the, the key to the game of life for you is you. It's where you focus your mind dominantly. Where The version of you that you continue to be dominantly. Each time in the last two years of my business, whenever my business would do a shift and grow, 
It was always when I changed my concept of self. I would learn new information. I would show up as a different version of me. And I remember a little over a year ago when that happened, when I became aware of some patterns I was doing, like being an online entrepreneur, there's so much information consuming and you, I was, I hired coaches, but I just wasn't getting the info I needed. And I was kind of all over the place trying to figure out a strategy and what to do business wise. And I remember one day it clicked for me. I actually did work with this coach and it kind of clicked for me where I was like, I'm not showing up as the version of me, the self-concept that I'm a leader and I have the audience in front of me. And I think at that time, I maybe had like 100 people in my Facebook group, maybe a little less than that. I don't even know. And I just, no, I didn't even have a Facebook group then. Didn't even fucking have one. I was resistant. Every time I thought of doing a Facebook group, I, didn't, I felt this knot in my stomach. Why? Because it would require a new version of me. This is what resistance is. It doesn't mean it's something off. It just means it's something new for you that you're not used to. And for me, I was like, I don't want to do one more thing. I felt overwhelmed, so I kept avoiding it. And then I got this, you know, uh, spotlight shined on my blind spot. Why, why am I not doing this? And so I fucking did it. And then I had like 50 people in there and I kept showing up and showing up. And now look how many people, like a little over a year later, I don't even know if it was exactly a year and a half later or approximately a year later, but it was around that time frame. I have almost 4,000 people in that group. So if I wouldn't have started that group, I wouldn't have the people that are in the group now. When I started my YouTube channel two years ago, I had no subscribers, zero. Me and my SP were talking about this the other day about I met him at that time about two years ago, literally around the same time that I started my business. I think it was like two months after I started my business, I met him. And we were saying the other day, he was like, wow, I can't believe how many subscribers you have on YouTube. He's like, I remember when I first met you, you had like hardly anyone. And I'm like, I know. I remember when I hit 100, I was like, let's go celebrate. I have 100 subscribers. And now I have over 15,000 at the time of this recording. So like, it required persistence on my end to ignore the 3D no matter what, and to overcome my old self-concept, to put myself in a new story of who I am in this business, which required me to affirm and claim someone different. And then action-wise, I ended up becoming her. So when you look at that in your love life, it's the same thing. If you want to be secure, confident, and chosen, you got to affirm that woman. You have to start telling your mind, this is who you are, and you keep living in that and persisting in that story of who you are until you start to feel that way. And then when you start feeling that way, you start behaving and acting differently in your 3D, not to mention your 3D will conform to reflect that back to you. But you will show up as a different version of you. It's, it's so powerful how fast you can shift realities like... I can't even tell you how many times I've shifted realities like with big shit. Like think of people who've had career changes. I've had career changes from an accountant to being a therapist to going into private practice to now, you know, becoming a coach, having my online business. Like I don't even like can't even connect to the version of me anymore that was an accountant. It feels so fucking far away. I can't even connect to the reality of me as a teenager who was in foster care and fucking hated my life back then. Like I, I can remember it, but like I don't feel, I don't feel like I'm her. I have no connection to that reality. It's like literally nothing to me. There's like no emotion because I've become someone so different. Even from five, six years ago, I've changed so much of the version of who I was back then. Back then, I was in a lot of emotional pain. I had a whole different set of friends, a whole different fucking reality. So you have to keep persisting. Like, And now that you know that your thoughts create your reality, you'll manifest your shit more quickly. See, before I knew this, I would manifest big changes in like a year, six months, two years, things like that, right? But now that I know this stuff is manifesting faster for me. And the more I get better at this, the faster it's going to keep manifesting. And just... In the last year alone, I'm like, fuck, my life has changed dramatically. But even in the last two years, my life has changed so fucking dramatically. 
Like two years ago, I was just getting certified to be a coach. (laughs) And now here I am. (laughs) Two years ago, I started a YouTube channel where I had no subscribers. Two years ago, I didn't even know what the fuck I was doing. And here I am two years later with all the accomplishments in my business and all the amazing people like you that I get to help and show up for every fucking day. And it's just continuing. Now I've hired an employee and I've hired a business lawyer and I have people working with me and I hired a graphic designer and we're revamping and rebranding everything in my business to make it top the fuck notch because I was doing everything by myself. And I saw this, I knew this, this is what I wanted, this is what I had affirmed. And just a year ago, I was living in a different town in my townhouse before I sold it. And even though my business was growing and changing, I still was doing therapy and coaching. Now I just do coaching. I still have like maybe two, I have two clients, actually three, that I've worked with on and off for years that honestly, I just coach them now, but they have been my therapy clients because they're all doing amazing. And I just have such a long-term relationship with them. Um, and they only need, you know, things, you know, to talk with me once in a while that I still work with them. But other than that, everything is done hundred percent online. Fucking a year ago to this month is when I gave up my office, my old office. And now here I am <laughs> in an amazing office that was, is perfect for me. Everything I wanted in an office and right next to you know who. The power of persistence is so important. I can't even fucking imagine. I mean, I can, but who, like I, next year is going to be amazing. I'm going to be the woman that literally has it all. So I want you to start thinking like that. I want you to start thinking that this isn't about how fast I can get it. And you'll get it in fast. Trust me, it'll blow your fucking mind. But it's understanding that all I got to do is persist in this story in my mind until it fucking hardens into fact. And until it is manifested in my 3D reality, it means it hasn't hardened into fact. And the only reason why it hasn't hardened into fact is I'm not either affirming enough for it or, well, yeah, I'm not affirming enough for it. So you may not be affirming, I can't talk, you may not be affirming enough for it in the sense that you have still too many opposing thoughts. So you need to affirm more over that old story because that old story is still dominant and still giving you the shit you don't want. Or you're not focusing enough on it, so it can take longer, even if you don't have a lot of opposing thoughts. Do you know, with the money, I never really had opposing thoughts ever for money. And until I started affirming every day that I, about money, like consistently, that is when it started manifesting every day consistently. Now, I always had a story that my bills would be covered, I would always be okay, and I always was. But I didn't focus on money every day. And I said, fuck it, let me try it. I just wanted to test things. I said, let me see this shit when the thoughts create your reality really started to dawn on me. And I started to have that deeper understanding. I'm like, oh, I just got to persist in affirming this story every day. And I got to focus and put my awareness and attention on what I want to manifest in my reality every day. And that's what I did. And within two days, I started bringing in more money. And it, I mean, we're what, four months in this game, three months into this game at this point? And this is my normal life now. I don't even affirm for it anymore. So that, see, now it's hardened into fact. It's hardened into fact for me a couple months ago. And every once in a while, there's something that will still pop up of of like old thinking. And I was actually talking to the woman who's revamping um, my website for me because she was like, it's expensive. And she was like, I have a payment plan or you could just pay up front. It's obviously cheaper if you pay up front. And, you know, at first I could tell, I could hear myself thinking internally like, oh, maybe I should do the payment plan because that's a lot of money up front and did it up. And I go, hold up. No, I don't live in that fucking reality anymore. I got way more than enough and it's still fucking coming in. I'm going to pay this shit up front. 
And that's what I did. And I shared it with her. I go, it's so funny. And she's like, isn't it funny? Like how we still think like the old way, even though we have something new going on. And I go, because this is, this is our minds. This is what you do with your SP. They come back in and your old concept of self is kicking in because that's what you're used to living. So I caught it instantly in that moment with her. And I said, no, fuck that. I'm fine with this. I'm paying this now. And I paid it up in full. And I reaffirmed the story that this is, this is, I have more than enough every fucking day, not even worried about it. And you got to do the same thing with your SP. You have to persist in the story of your concept of self that you get what you want, your chosen, valued, loved, your girlfriend, wifey, husband, whoever's listening to this. And you have to persist in the story of the version of them that feels good to you. Because the way you want to train your mind is to keep your eye on the fucking prize. Because remember, your thoughts create your reality. So even if you don't see movement from your SP or movement fast enough or more consistent movement that's more favorable, you still persist in that fucking beautiful story because inevitably it has to manifest. That is what staying persistent does for you. So I just wanted to drive this point home and remind people to stick it the fuck out (laughs) because once you understand this and you overcome this, who is fucking life changing? And it's a process. This whole game is just an internal transformational process about you and that's it. No one and nothing else. So don't compare yourself to others. Only stay focused on you. And I want to thank you for joining me this week. And hopefully I'll keep doing this every week again. Um, I don't foresee any upcoming things in the recent times that is going to block me from being able to do this. But every once in a while, I have to readjust and take some things off my plate. And, and I had to do that with this um, for the last couple, you know, week or two. But um, I want to remind you that if you feel like you need additional support and you want some coaching, you want some motivation, you need some ass kicking with love, or maybe you need someone to kind of, you know, shine the light on your blind spots, then I'm here for you. I have many different ways you can work with me. I have paid Facebook groups. I have email coaching. I have one-on-one sessions. I have a VIP group where we do two live Zoom coaching sessions a month. So there's so many different ways to work with me. You can find all the um, links in the show notes. And until next week, I want you to think about the power of persistence and keeping your eye on that fucking prize, my loves, because you deserve to live the fucking life of your dreams. And the only way you're going to get it is to persist in the story until it hardens into fact. All right. So have an amazing week. Go love on yourself and I will see you next Wednesday. Bye.